everybody. This is Tess with Love This Yarn. And I'm sorry I forgot to turn my TV down. So I'm trying to turn it down right now. Isn't that crazy? Okay. You know my dogs are watching the news. Hmm. Them dogs. Okay. So today is going to be all about the bumblebee or the honeybee tutorial. So, for those of you who haven't seen my little bees, this is one of them in a non-traditional color, blue and black. Here's another one. It's pink and black. Okay. And then I've actually started another one with Dollar Tree yarn. It's the, um, premier just yarn that we've been finding at Dollar Tree. I only have one little wing on him so far, <laughs> but that's a different blue color and a different size. So this is much smaller than this one. And I want to show you, I do have a traditional one started and by traditional I mean using traditional colors and this one is big <laughs> and I don't have his little face on him yet but um, you can tell he is going to be huge okay and he is made out of Burnett Burnett blanket yarn and the two, um, the, the pink and the blue ones are made out of Burnett, um, baby blanket yarn, which is actually the same thing as the blanket yarn. It's just a different color palette. <laughs> so I have those ready. And like I said, there's also the big giant one. And I am going to let you guys know, this is not done, by the way, obviously. It has to be stuffed, and then it has to be finished. The face needs to be finished. I don't have the eyes all the way on, and I need to put a little mouth and some wings. And then this will be almost like a bumblebee pillow. This will be huge. Okay? And, um... As you can see, that's the yarn I'm using, Burnett Blanket Yarn, okay? And the only one I'm using the Dollar Tree yarn for is this little one right here that I just started. Just started it this morning. Yeah, so you guys, I'm gonna tell you what you need. You need your yarn. And it must be a chunky size six yarn. Any chunky size six yarn is perfectly fine. Now what I want you to do for your hook size, whatever hook size the ball of yarn that you are using, which must be a chunky six, I want you to go down one to two hook sizes because we want very tight stitches so that when we stuff it, that stuffing doesn't come out because that would be bad to be unstuffed. Mm, I'm telling you, I feel unstuffed sometimes and it's not good. So remember, whatever the recommended hook size is for your number six chunky yarn, go down one to two hook sizes. Okay. So I'm going to show you on this one, the, uh, Burnett recommends a U.S. size L, which is an eight millimeter, eight millimeter hook. So I would go down to either a seven millimeter hook or a 6.5 okay so I would go down to one of those two because you still want to be able to work the stitches without giving yourself a migraine because they're so tight 
and you can't get in there. So don't go down too far or you won't be able to get inside your stitches. And that's also bad. So just go down one to two. You still want it to feel fairly comfortable. Okay? Fairly comfortable. Now, gather up all your supplies, which would be your yarn and your hook. And then you'll also want your little tool kit. I've got a measuring tape. I've got my stitch markers and my little happy pill llama box that Sweet Jill gave me. And then I've got my embroidery scissors. Okay, so I've got all the tools I need right in here. And I have a darning needle so that we can weave in the ends. So don't forget your darning needle. Okay, now gather up all of that good stuff and meet me right back. Okay, see you in a minute. Hi everybody, I'm back and I have my yarn. I'm using the Bernat uh, blanket yarn and I am gonna use the traditional golden color for mine. I have my black yarn right here and same thing, it's the Bernat blanket yarn. And I have a seven millimeter hook. La, there it is. A seven mil hook. Because the blanket yarn recommends an eight mil hook, I'm going down to a size seven. Okay. This is to make my stitches tighter together so that the stuffing doesn't come out. Now how we're going to start, we're going to work in the round. And in order to work in the round, you need to make a loop and you can either do the magic circle or you can chain four and then um, make your circle that way. I use the magic loop which is very simple and I'm going to show it to you. Put your two fingers out like this. Put your yarn over the two fingers like this and take your thumb and hold that yarn down and then you're just going to wrap it around again and you're going to crisscross see this crisscross applesauce and here you have your two strands you've got it crisscrossed in the back and you're holding it down you're holding that loose yarn down with your thumb so what you're going to do is you're going to go in with your hook. You're going to grab that back. You're going to go under the front yarn. You're going to grab that back yarn and pull it through and give it a little twist so it stays on. Okay, so I'm going to show you that again. You're going to go under this one you're gonna grab it like this and then twist and there you have it then you're gonna grab the string again and pull it through and now your loop is locked you can let go and your loop will be there okay so there's your magic loop very easy peasy now, if you need help with doing this magic loop, uh, rewind this part of the video and slow it down. Go to your, your YouTube settings and slow it down and watch it very slowly, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to put six single crochets in our loop. So I'm going to hang on to it. We're going to go in and out and we're going to pull through and that's one single crochet we're going to do it again two single crochets we're going to go inside our circle we're going to pull the yarn through and then we're going to grab our free end and pull that through again now we have three single crochets we're going to do it again. 
we have four single crochets. I'm going to tighten the loop up just a little bit. Now we're going to do it two more times. We have five single crochets and you can count them. One, two, three, four, five. And our last single crochet, which gives us six, and pull that through, okay? So this is what it looks like. And now we're going to take the end of our string and we're just going to pull it tight. And see how that closes up our circle? And now we're going to slip stitch. So we're going to go right in to that first single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet. And we are going to slip stitch this all the way through. And there we have it. This is the beginning of our bumblebee. Okay? This is the very beginning of our bumblebee. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go into every single stitch, these six stitches, and we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch, which will give us a total of 12 single crochets when we're done. Okay, so here we go. I have two. This is three. Four single crochets, five single crochets. Ah, oh, sorry about that. That oops, I almost did a half double crochet. My my little puppy is under my table and he's bumping into the table. Okay, so there we go. Six double crochet. This will be seven. Not double crochet, single, single crochet. I am so sorry. We're doing single crochets. This whole project uses single crochets. And the reason why is you want your stitches to be very tightly woven together so that you can put the stuffing in and the stuffing won't come out. So we need tight stitches. So that's why we're using single crochets for this whole project. Now we're going to put another single crochet in here. There we go. Two single crochets in every stitch. So you had six original single crochets that you started out with. Now you're putting two single crochets in every stitch. And that's going to wind up giving us a total of 12 single crochets. Okay? And you're just going to go all the way around until you come back to the beginning here. And you can count your stitches. I highly recommend you count your stitches because even advanced crocheters can... Uh, get their stitches confused. So let's count our stitches. So we're going to count the V's. If you can see them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <gasps> Look at that. See what I did? I put too many in. So this is what I mean by even advanced crocheters can mess this up. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we're going to slip stitch right in to this stitch right here. And there we go. That is our first round. And we're going to start, I'm going to make this. A smaller bumblebee but you can make your bumblebee any size you want by continuing to make this circle larger and how you do that 
I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, now that we have all the doubles in, we're going to chain one and we're just going to put one single crochet in and then we're going to go to the next stitch and put two single crochets in. Okay? And then we're going to go back to one. So your pattern will be one single crochet, two single crochets. One single crochet, two single crochets. All the way around. So you're going to increase your stitches by half. Okay? So you have 12 stitches. You're going to uh, plus that. So 12 plus another 6 is going to be 18. So you're going to have 18 stitches when you're finished. Okay? So you're just going to go around your... And there's my puppy bossing me around because that's what... That's what he likes to do. Thor, no, no. Lay down. Lay down. Mommy's busy. He wants me to play with him, everybody. Oh, lordy, lordy. Thor, Thor, no, no. Lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Good boy. That's a good boy. You go lay down. Sorry about that, everybody. He just wants to play. He's just a he's just a big old puppy at heart, even though he's about eight years old, I think. <laughs> so we're gonna continue with our single crochets all the way around. I'm gonna give them a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we're almost done. Okay. And then we're going to slip stitch into this next one. So we have, we should have 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay? So we're going to slip stitch in to this one. There we go. And you can see our circles taking shape. And I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to make this one a smaller one. But how you make it into a bigger a bigger B is simply by um, your stitch count. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do one single crochet. Then the next stitch, I'm going to do another single crochet. And then the next stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. Okay, whoops, I mean, not a double crochet, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm so sorry guys, I hope I'm not confusing you all. So our pattern is, we're going to do one single crochet, another single crochet, and then we're going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so the next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is going to be two single crochets. That is our pattern for this round. Now, when you continue on with this pattern, you will add a single crochet in the stitch for every round, 
okay? So this is this round right here. The very first round, you put six single crochets. The second round, you put two single crochets in every stitch. The next round, you put a single crochet in your first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. Then a single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochets in the following stitch. And that is your pattern as you go around. The next row, you put one single crochet in the first stitch, another single crochet in the next stitch, and then another single crochet in the next stitch. So your pattern becomes three single crochets in your each individual stitch, and then two single crochets in the following stitch. So that's a pattern. So if you look at it, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a diagram, okay? So this diagram is our single crochet stitches, okay? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's in the middle, okay? And now coming out from here, you have two single crochets in every stitch. See this, how you have two single crochets coming out of every stitch. And then when you go to your next round, so you have round one right here, round two right here. Round three is going to be a single crochet, a single crochet, a double crochet in this stitch, a single crochet, a single crochet, a double crochet in this stitch. So it creates a pattern, okay? Then we're going to have a single crochet, a single crochet, a double crochet. Not a double, but I mean you put two single crochets in the same stitch. So here we go, single crochet. Okay, then this stitch, single crochet. Your last stitch, you will put two single crochets in this last stitch. Okay? And for the pattern to repeat itself, you're going to do, on the next round, a single crochet, a single crochet, a single crochet, and then two crochet, two single crochets in this stitch. And then you're going to do three singles again. Single crochet in this stitch, single crochet in this stitch, single crochet in this stitch. Then this stitch will receive two single crochets. And then a single, a single, a single, and two in this stitch. Then you're going to have a single crochet, a single crochet, a single crochet, and the last stitch will get two single crochets. So the pattern is you just increase your single crochets before you double crochet with every row, okay? With every row, you're going to increase that single. So on the next row, you're going to do a single crochet, a single crochet, a single crochet, and a single crochet. So now you're doing four single crochets, and in this row you're doing two single crochets. Because we've now increased to four single crochets in each of these individual stitches, and then we're going to do, we're going to increase 
and do a single crochet, two of them, in the same stitch right here. So we're going to do it again. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets in this stitch. Single crochet, single, 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 and this stitch will get two. Two single crochets, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then a another single crochet, and then two single crochets in this. And as you go around, you just increase the number of single crochets before you do your increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. So the next one will be five single crochets and then two single crochets in the same stitch. The following row will be six single crochets and two single crochets in the next stitch. And as you go out and make your little B bigger, this number increases. The next round would be seven single crochet. So if y'all have any questions about this, um, email me at lovethisyarn at yahoo.com and I will be happy to give you some more um, instruction on this, okay? And um, honestly, I love charts. I do not like written instructions. Um, they're, they're confusing to me. I'm sorry my chart is sloppy, but charts are very simple to read. And if you all want an, um, a lesson on reading charts, uh, leave a comment and I will give a lesson on this, okay? So that is how we're going to make our little B bigger. I'm going to end right here. This is how big my little bee is going to be, okay? So I'm going to continue this with this round where I'm doing singles and uh, then my doubles, okay? So I'm going to do my single crochet here, single crochet here. Because we are on round, yeah. So I'm doing two single crochets and then I'm doing my double. Not a double, I'm doing two single crochets in the same stitch. So single crochet, single crochet, and then I'm going to do two double crochets in that next stitch. So I'm putting two single crochets in the exact same stitch and then I'm ending with one single crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch, do a slip stitch into that next stitch. Okay, now this row is complete and now I'm going to start turning this into a tube, making it tubular like this, okay? Which my B, I'm going to choose to do the shorter body. You can tell on this one, I made it a longer body. This one, I made it a shorter, fatter body. And this is how I'm going to do this one that I'm making right now. So in order to turn this into a tube, you do one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go in and do a single crochet in every stitch. And this is what's going to make your little bee start turning inward to make that tubular shape because your stitches, you're not increasing your stitches anymore. So it's gonna naturally 
turn your little um uh, your little bee inward okay so i'm gonna just continue with putting a single crochet in every stitch around just like this i'm going to go all the way around and you can tell it's already turning you see that it's already making like a dome this is what you want to see so we're going to keep going we're going to get a single crochet in every stitch in this round just like this okay and now we're coming back we're coming back around and i'm going to join with a slip stitch just like that okay and now I'm going to keep going oops you guys let's see one two three four five one two three, <laughs> four okay so I I messed up a little I get nervous sometimes making videos I'm just I'm just finishing this round. I wasn't quite finished yet. I jumped the gun with the slip stitch. <laughs> okay. Now this round is finished and I'm joining. There we go. Okay. So you see how that's already pulling in? This is what you want. This is what's going to make your little B shape right here. Okay. It's going to make your little B just like this all right so now what i want to do i'm going to add my black in and you're going to do this very simply you are not going to cut your yarn you are going to leave your yarn attached you're simply going to take this yarn you're going to drape it around your hook like so you're going to pull it through and then this yarn your yellow yarn you'll pull tight you'll pull it all real tight and now your black yarn is attached okay and you're just going to continue you're going to leave your yellow yarn attached because you're only going to do if you're making a small b you're only doing one round if you're making a larger bee like my large bee here you're going to do two rounds of your black so you will have three to four rounds of your yellow whatever your preference is i did four you can do three but you have to do more than your black so do at least three or you could do four and then do uh, two rounds with your black and continue that pattern on until you're done with your little B okay or your big B if you're making the big one making little bees you only need to do one round of the black so I'm going to do my one round of black right now I'm gonna put this little bee out of my way okay so here we go with my one round of black and you're just going to continue with single crochet because this whole project is done with single crochet and i know that i have um said <laughs> double crochet um accidentally but what I meant was you're going to put two um, single crochets in the same stitch, but not here. We're done with doing that now, okay? We are not going to be putting two um, single crochets in the same stitch anymore because we are finished with our increasing. 
I'm making a small B. So my increases are finished. So now every stitch only gets a single crochet, one. Okay? And here I go. I'm just going to keep going around with my black, putting one single crochet in every stitch. All right? And here we go. You guys, this is a very, very easy project. And it will make a great Christmas gift for any little ones in your life. They will love these little bees. Okay? I'm telling you, they adore them. Um, also, adults really like them, too. Just to, just to throw that in there. Okay. So here we go. We're almost finished. I'm going to do one more stitch here just to hide that yellow. And then I'm going to um, slip stitch into this next. Actually, I'm not. I'm, I have to go back to my yellow. So see how my yellow is still attached on the inside of the bee? I'm just going to let go. I'm going to let go of the black. And I'm going to bring the yellow up. Okay? This is why you leave them attached. You do not need to cut your yarn. Not even on the big one. On the big one, I leave my yarn attached. I leave the black and yellow attached. Because even on the big one, you're only doing two rounds of black. And then you switch back to your yellow or whatever other color. You know, here I did a blue bee, and here I did a pink bee. So you don't need to do traditional colors. You can do any color bee that you would like, okay? So I'm grabbing that yellow yarn that's still attached, and I'm just pulling it through, all right? So now I've pulled it through. I'm going to just tighten it up. And here I go, okay, into every black stitch now, all right, and once again, single crochet in every black stitch, and with the little ones, you do one row of black and two rows of your main color. So in this B, the gold or the yellow is my main color. So I'm going to do two rows of this yellow, or two rounds. I guess you would call it two rounds because we're working in the round, right? Okay. So very easy peasy. And you guys, you can get this project done in no time. You can make um, several of these bees in one day. So if you need a last minute gift for someone and you don't have a lot of time to make it, this is perfect because these make up really quickly. Remember, you're using at least a number six bulky yarn. And I really like the blanket yarn because it's so soft and cuddly. And I love that. And you know, if you're giving this to a child, they really like this soft, cuddly yarn as well. Now, um, my daughter commissioned me to make a big bee pillow for her best friend who had a birthday in October. And I used the blanket yarn for hers and she absolutely loved it, you guys. I mean, she went crazy for it. She adored it. Adored it. Okay. Now I'm just going to keep going. And we're going to do, well, actually, I should have done a slip stitch here. So I'm going to slip stitch here. 
because that's my my row and now we're going to go into the second row okay and we're just going to keep going around as i said until you're completely done okay now you guys if you continue with the B you're going to do three black stripes okay we want to have three black stripes on our B see three and then the rest will be your main color so I'm going to turn the camera off and remember this is strictly one single crochet in every stitch. You know what? I'm going to finish doing this so I can show you how to do the color change one more time. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to continue with this yellow color until I get this round finished because this round has all of yellow stitches okay so yellow stitch yellow stitch we got some yellow stitches we're going to keep going all the way around till we come back to the beginning and then we will slip stitch and we will go back to our black yarn and make one more round of black okay and we're coming up on our join here We've got a couple more stitches and our join will come and now we're going to slip stitch into this stitch and we're going to let go of our yellow yarn and we're going to grab our black from inside because remember this yarn is not cut you're leaving your yarn just on the just hanging down we're not cutting it so we're going to pick up the black yarn and then we're going to do our slip stitch with the black yarn okay and there we go slip stitch that black yarn right in and continue on with your black hi everybody we're back so now we have our three black stripes and you have your one row of single crochet after your black stripe your last black stripe so now we're going to continue with this project and finish it up so you're going to chain one and then we're going to make two single crochets one two and then we are going to do a decrease now the way we're going to decrease is going into this front loop you see your V right here see the V I've got my hook in the middle of the V we're going to go into this front loop which is the loop closest to you the reason we're doing the decrease in this way is because this yarn is very bulky and if we go in and do our decrease under both loops it's going to be very noticeable so what we're going to do instead is we're going to go under the front loop only which again is the loop closest to yourself okay so we're going to go in that loop then we're going to come around and so watch me do this i'm going to do it really slow front loop 
and then you're going to take your hook and you're going to come in and go in the bottom and up through the top of the next front loop stitch okay and then we're going to pull a loop through and then pull another loop through now we have just combined those two stitches and made them one stitch so let's do that again we're going to do a single crochet in this stitch we're going to go to the next stitch do another single crochet and now we're going to decrease so we're going to take our hook we're going to go up from the bottom and out through the middle of that loop see and then we're going to just kind of maneuver our hook around go in through the bottom and out through the top of the next loop and we're going to yarn over and draw the yarn through yarn over again and draw the yarn through so now we've made two decreases so we're going to continue doing this so one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and now here we go again with our decrease we're going to take our hook we're going to go under come up through the middle and then we're going to pivot and go to the next stitch go under come up through the middle yarn over draw that loop through yarn over and finish the stitch okay so here we go single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch and here we are at our decrease again so we're going to take our hook insert it at the bottom and come up in between our loops see our loops right here then we're going to pivot our hook come up through the bottom of the next loop there we are in the middle of the loop then we're going to yarn over pull through those two loops yarn over and pull through those two loops okay now we're going to continue this pattern so, hi everybody so we're back and we have completed our rounds of the main color and then the black stripes main color black stripes and you've done one row after that and we've done one row of decreases so now we're going to do another uh, another round of decreasing and this time instead of doing two single stitches and a decrease we're going to do one single crochet and then we're going to do our decrease where we go in underneath the first loop and up through the middle as you can see I did and then we're going to just pivot our hook and come back up under that first loop of the next stitch and we're going to do a yarn over we're going to pull through two loops yarn over and pull through another two loops okay so one single crochet and then our decrease go under that loop pivot go under the next stitch go under the next front loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay and we're going to repeat this all the way around so one single crochet and then we're going to do a decrease go right under those front loops and right in the middle yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops 
single crochet and then we're going to do our decrease again we're going to go right in the middle of that stitch we're going to pivot go right in the middle of the next stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we're going to continue this all the way around and this is our closing round right here so we're going to do that decrease where we go in the middle of the stitches whoops you can use your other fingers to help okay pull through two single stitch single crochet now we're going to do our decrease middle of the loop middle of the loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then once again single crochet now we're going to do that decrease again so we're going to go in the middle of the loop oops sorry about that guys <laughs> i'm a little tired and i hurt my back so this is not um not the easiest for me today but i wanted to get this done so i could get it up because i've been promising you guys the uh, bumblebee tutorial so this will this will go up today so there we go one single crochet and as you can tell our opening is closing up right so we're gonna go single crochet again then we're gonna go in here and do our decrease that's my little puppy maxi he's having a little cry over there because he's not on my lap <laughs> now we're gonna do a single crochet and we're gonna go in here and do our decrease remember we're just going through that front loop because we don't want this to be too bulky and it would be really noticeable okay so we are almost at the end of our round aren't we let's see yeah okay that's it right there so we got a few more to go so one single crochet and then a decrease there we go if you guys have any questions on how to do these decreases just let me know because i can always do a video on this and if you're wondering if you're like if you're making the right amount of rounds all you have to do is count them so you have these that are coming down into your black just count the full rows one two three and you go all the way around one two three one two three and you count your rows one two three so we have um this is going to be our end right here so we're almost done with this let's see I think we're gonna do I think it's a single and then a decrease and then we're finished and what we're going to do next is we're gonna stuff our little bee we're gonna stuff this bee yeah and then we'll close them off okay so we're gonna do a slip stitch now slip stitch right into here okay and finish that off whoops did that a little there we go whoo you guys I'm on medication you guys gotta cut me a break because <laughs> this this medicine has been um who it's just been knocking me out there we go all right 
Now that we're done, and I still didn't do that right. Can you believe that? I think I, there we go. I got off on my joins. This is where I need it to slip stitch. Okay. See this um, new medication I'm on? It gives me like these, um, oh, what do you call them? Brain fog or something. It's, it's not pleasant. But there we go. So our little guy now is ready to be stuffed. And I have some stuffing. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, let me, let me grab my stuffing. So, this is the stuffing I used. It's just polyfill, crafter's choice uh, stuffing. And it works really, really well for this kind of a project. Okay. And you guys, I'm really into doing a lot of the amigurumi because um, the kids really like these little lovey toys. And this is so soft using that blanket yarn. And they can just um, hang on to it and, and really um, makes them feel safe and secure. And a lot of these homeless kids... You know, they don't even know what's happening in the next five minutes. And just to have a little something to hang on to that's all theirs. And it's small, so it doesn't take up a lot of room. Because a lot of times these kids move around quite a lot uh, with their parent or parents that are homeless. They're moving from place to place, you know, wherever they can go. So, um, having something small like this is really perfect. So, if any of you guys do um, crocheting for charity, please make a bunch of these and uh, donate them to your homeless shelter in your nearest city. And uh, also, another place you can donate these to is your uh, domestic abuse um centers because a lot of times those uh kids are hustled right out of the house in the middle of the night or on the spur of the moment and they have nothing literally nothing but the clothes they're wearing and so um these are also great for the for those kids and really you just keep stuffing little bits of stuffing in it until it feels, you know, pretty squishy and solid. Squishy. Hi, Squishy. Are you watching? Hi. <laughs> I know a really nice gal named Squishy. So, she has a YouTube channel, too. So, but anyway, yeah, you just keep stuffing it like this. Until... You have it reasonably full. You don't want to overfill it. You just want to make sure it's, you know, solid and it'll hold the shape. So that is, that's pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more in this one. Just a tiny bit more. Let's see. Grab some of this out. Okay. There. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close this. So you're going to take a, you're going to leave at least a foot of yarn and you're going to snip that yarn off. And then you're going to put, use your darning needle. Now this is how I do it. You take your yarn, you wrap it around that eye really tight, pull it out. And you smush it through, and voila. There you go. You've got your needle threaded. Okay? So, we're just going to go up through your loop that's left. Like that. And then we're going to weave this in and out 
of your stitches. So you're going to take your darning needle, you're going to put it under this stitch, then you're going to go in this stitch, then you're going to go out this stitch. So you're just kind of going back and forth. So we just did three. Now you're going to go into this stitch right here. Wait a minute. I missed a stitch. Yeah. Okay. Going to go in and out, in and out. And that's all you're going to do. You're just going to keep going in and out until you go all the way back around where you started. And here we are. Okay, and you're just going to pull tight. So, there you see. There's your little bee's bottom. <laughs> and it's all finished. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to weave the rest of this in. And the way I do it is I just go through some stitches like this. And then I turn it around, go back through some stitches, and grab some of that stuffing because that helps keep your um, that helps keep your thread in. And then what you're going to do after you do that a few times, and see you can't even notice it. Do that. So you're sewing this end up really well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to go right down to the edge of where that yellow is and pull it through. And then you're going to go back down still in the yellow and you're going to cross over and you're going to poke it out this other side. Okay? And just pull. Just like this. And then you're going to just kind of squish your little bee. Just like this. Make sure it's all nicely shaped and round. Because that stuffing can get wild on you. Oh yes it can. Now we're going to cut this little piece off. Okay, and there's the body of your bee, all nicely done, okay? And the side that you closed on is going to become your face, because this will be wider than your back end. You see how it is? Let me show you. I, I think you can tell if I do this, how this is like more narrow. That's the back of your bee. And this is the front of your bee. Now to do the wings. I've already done one little wing. And it's going to go on like this. Oops, wrong way. Like this. And now we're going to make another one together. And you're going to leave this because you need this to tie it on to this with. So you're going to get the color you're going to use for your wings. I'm using white because I think white is just a good color to use for the wings. I'm going to make my magic circle. And once again, your magic circle is simply um, wrapping your yarn around two fingers, doing a crisscross. Hi, Chris. I have another friend who goes by crisscross. <laughs> You're going to put this underneath. You're going to pull it out and give it a little twist, and then you're going to grab the back yarn again and pull through that loop. And now you have a magic loop. Now, if you don't like doing the magic loop, you can just um, crochet four chains and go into the very last chain to make your loop. You can do that. So we're going to put six single crochets in this loop. So I have two, three, 
four, five, and six. And crochet right over your tail as much as you can. That just helps, um, that just helps with weaving in that tail later. And then you pull tight. Okay. And then we're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch. We get it in there. Oops. So my hands are not working very well this morning. Don't know if you guys can tell, but, um, but we're making it. So yay! Life is good, right? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put two single crochets in every single stitch. All right? And we're going to start at this stitch back here. And we're just going to put one in there because that chain one um, made up for one stitch. Okay, so put two stitches, two single crochets, I mean, in every stitch. Just like this. Two single crochets. In every stitch. Here we go. And this is going to make our wings. My little Thor is over there rolling around on the bed looking super, super cute. <laughs> oh, I just love my little pity. My little pit bull. Okay. And we're going to get back around. Let's see, got to go right through here. Almost done. And then we'll do a um, little slip stitch to join this round. Okay. Chain one. And then the next round, we're just going to do one stitch in each, one single crochet, rather, in each stitch, just like this. Single crochet in each stitch. There goes my puppies. Don't know if you can hear their little pitter-patter. <laughs> Okay, so our wings are almost completed. Here we go. Ooh, I hear a siren out there. Wonder what that's about. Okay. I think this is the last, yeah, it's the last stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch right there. Okay. And now we have two little wings. Okay. See our two little wings? And I'm going to cut this yarn. And leave a little bit of a tail because we're going to now I crocheted over this so I'm just gonna snip this off and now our wings are gonna go on this black stripe in the middle you see this black stripe in the middle that's where our wings are gonna go and they're going to go with the cup portion of the wing facing inward. So it'll be like this. See? That's our little wings. So we're going to get our darning needle again. We're going to do this little trick where you 
put it on here, pull it out, and put it in. You see how easy that was? That's a nice little trick. My grandma used to do it that way. She was a super smart lady. She's super smart. So, okay, so here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the, I'm just sewing this in. I mean, there's no real right or wrong way to do this. You just want to make sure that you're um, getting it on there good because you don't want your wings to fall off. So see, and you don't want your um, white thread to show through either. So just, just keep that in mind. And I just kind of go in and out, just sewing this in. Go back over here. Oops. Make sure you grab the wing. <laughs> That's helpful, right? <laughs> grab that wing. Okay. Whoop. Sorry about shaking the table, guys. I'm getting a little rambunctious with my wing, I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you just keep keep pushing it in and sewing it just however you want to sew it on and just to make sure it's on there because you don't want a child pulling it off accidentally and a lot of times the kids carry them by the wings so you got to really make sure those wings are on there good okay and then once you have that done you are good and what we're going to do now, I've got this on pretty sturdy. So I'm going to go through one of my stitches and I'm going to come out down here. And I'm just going to pull that through. And if you notice, when you pull it through, And then you just kind of give it a good fluff. And then whatever is left right here, you can just cut it off and it disappears. Okay? And there's our first little wing. Yay! Okay, now we got wing two. And I really should have left this a little bit longer. You want to leave it a little bit longer than what I did. Okay, that was kind of a mistake on my part. Huh. Okay, do my grandma's threading. There we go. And now I'm going to put my next wing in, which is going to be right, right next to my other wing. So I'm going to, I'm going to put them right there. I'm going to go right in and right up. Hi, little pup. There's my little pup. He's back. Okay. And now I'm just going to sew this in and make sure this is in nice and tight because we don't want any little ones pulling this out pulling this off and since I donate these you guys I don't use the little plastic eyes I don't know if you notice but I just use the black bait uh, blanket yarn same yarn I use on the stripes and I make the face with it that way there's no little parts that they can pull off and choke on okay so yeah so here we go. We're just continuing to sew this little wing on here. Hi, puppies. Hi. Whoops. And I pulled my thread out accidentally. Getting all distracted by this handsome boy over here. Hi, Thor. 
My handsome little pit bull. Oh, he's he's talking to you, you all. He's talking. Are you saying hello? Who are you saying hello to, huh? Oh, he says he's saying hello to he's saying hello to Ladybird. Ladybird Love. She has a channel on YouTube, you guys. Okay. I have lots of friends who have channels. Um, another one is Ginger, the Yarn Geek. She also has a live that she does every morning at 5 a.m., which is where I met a lot of my um, yarny friends that I'm talking about right now. So there we go. We've got the other wing on. And I should have left this uh, yarn a little bit longer. I didn't, but that's okay because it's still on here. And it looks fabulous, and, and that's on there really well. So, we are not going to worry about that. Okay. So, there's our little wings. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. There we go. Little, little bumblebee. Okay. And then for his little face, all I do is I take the black yarn, the black um, blanket yarn, and I just, it's almost like embroidery. You just um, go in and out, in and out, and make those eyes. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit. You do it with your darning needle, not a hook. So um, you don't need a hook for this part. Let me get these out of the way. But um, I'll show you a little bit, okay? But I'm, I want to end this video so I can get it posted. And if you guys have any questions, you can leave questions in the comments or you can just email me. So you want to get a good amount of yarn, cut it off, and you want to make a knot in the end of it. It just helps... You know, it just helps keep it all in there. Yeah. So, I make two knots in it. If you make any more than that, it'll mess with your stitches on your little bumblebee. There we go. Okay. So now you, you look at it just to make sure you're putting the face on the right end. This is smaller on this end. This is the end you start with. So you always want your face to be on the end that you ended with. So this is the end that we closed with. So I'm going to start my face here. So I'm going to put an eye here. And I'm going to put an eye here. And I'm going to put a little mouth here. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to go inside. going to pull this and we're going to pull it until we get that knot and then we're just going to take the knot and push it down in there okay like that there we go and then we're going to go back over that little spot now you can do this any way you're comfortable this is just the way I do this this part is just totally up to you guys. However you want to make your um, your mouth on here. So, my little puppy's talking to me. So you can make a little mouth, you can make a big mouth, you can make it smiling. You can make your mouth do whatever your mouth wants to do. Okay, you can make your mouth have nice big lips. I think this one's going to have a little bit bigger lips than my other one. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to go over here and back out right here.
and then I'm going to go out on this side where I'm going to finish my mouth. Okay. Most of the time I do my eyes first, just to let you guys know, but it doesn't really matter as long as you leave a spot to do them. And there we go. Okay. So here's my, here's my mouth on this one. I'm going to give it a little turn up at the corner because we want we want these to be happy little bees happy little doobies and I'm going to go all the way through to the other side underneath and that just helps helps to secure the yarn because you're going through all the stuffing okay and then we're going to give him a little upturned smiley face here okay And there we go. Now I'm going to go back to this side. And you can manipulate these pretty easily by just kind of squishing on them. Okay. So easy to do. And then I'm going to go back in here. And then I'm going to come out my side on a black stitch okay so there's my little bee smiley mouth it's a little crooked but you know what that's okay nobody has a perfect little smile right I lost my needle here, so I'm going to put it back in because <laughs> we're not done yet. Alrighty, there we go. Now I'm going to go back inside this stitch. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start my eye. Okay. There we go. Make sure you leave that a little bit loose so it doesn't cave in the side of your little bee. And then this is really easy, guys. You just, like you're going to embroidery something, you just keep going like this. And you're going to make your little eyes. Or you could just make little eyes like this. I mean... You don't even have to make the big circles if you don't want to. You can make eyes any way you want to make them. This is your project. You can make them any way you want. And if your stuffing comes out, just push it back in a little. <laughs> so, yeah. So you guys get the idea, right? This is how you make it. Now, you can go around and do this in a circle. You can even make a circle. You can crochet a circle with your yarn. I'm going to show you that real quick. So, make our magic circle. Okay. And then we're going to put some single crochets in here just remember you're always going to put single crochets i just like the number six so we're going to go with six in here or you know what actually let's go with eight in here and we'll make a nice bigger eye one two three four five okay this is six this is seven. This is eight. Okay. We're going to pull our tail and tighten that loop. And then we're going to 
slip stitch up here to join long tail so we can use it to sew it in so just binding off here okay I this is how I did it on my bigger bees because their eyes were a lot bigger so it just kind of made more sense to uh, do it this way on those big bees but yeah I'm just gonna weave this tail in a little bit here because you know ooh the weaving of the tails who likes to weave in tails nobody nobody okay cut that extra off and look we have a we have an eye okay so instead of doing this you can totally do it the other way here i'll show you i'm just going to cut this off pull this out Uh, some of this caught on some stuffing, which is okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So now I have my little eye that I just crocheted, and I can just take it right here. Here's our mouth. You just want to kind of line up your little face. Here's that extra little bit of black yarn I had there. There, we'll get that worked in so he doesn't show. So here's my little face and here's my little wings. So I'm going to put my eye right about there, okay? So going to thread my darning needle. And remember, we just did a circle and we put eight stitches in it and then we... Uh, bind it off or however you guys call that in knitting we call it um binding off so i'm not sure about crochet <laughs> totally i'm not totally sure but yeah you're just gonna sew it on now sew your little eye on and make sure that you're catching those stitches underneath Otherwise, your eye isn't really going to be attached, see? <laughs> and you don't want that. So, make sure you're grabbing your underneath. And I'm just going to come out the other side. Make sure I'm grabbing my eye. Okay, whoops, making a little mess here, but I think you all can get the picture or get the, get the gist of this, right? Ah, you guys, my hands are totally not working today. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know, I think it's almost 11 o'clock. Normally they're working by now, but yeah this has been a rough week okay uh, you're just gonna keep sewing until you've got your little eye attached and remember don't pull it too tight or it's gonna pucker and I'm telling you this because I just did it because I'm trying to compensate for my hands not working Okay, so just kind of lift it up, see where it's, make sure you're seeing where it's loose, and then go in and grab that section to help, uh, to help sew it down. Okay. Yeah, 
That's my tail. Alrighty. So there, this eye is this eye is actually on here pretty good now. I'm gonna go up and grab it at the top because it's a little loose up there. And voila. Okay. So we have one eye. And now we're going to take this, going to go down in through your eye, <laughs> and you're going to come out on your black, somewhere on your black stripe. Okay? And then you're going to squish it and manipulate it and make that thread go away. There we go. And there's eye number one, and we're going to put eye number two right next to it. Okay. We're also going to add a little white here in the eye just to make the eye, um, you know, like this. Okay. But that's how you do it. And you guys, this video is about finished. Okay, if you want to see me do this other eye, you're more than welcome to hang around here. So I'm going to do eight single crochets. I did a magic loop. I'm going to do eight single crochets so that my eyes are the same size. Now if you want to make yours look wily, you can do different size eyes. You can do anything you want with your little bee's face because he's your little bee. He's your little bumblebee. And you can do anything. One, two, three, four, five. This is six. I'm sorry, Thor. I'm coming. He's not happy. This is seven. Oops. Thor, just wait. And this is eight. And now I'm going to slip stitch. Thor, I'll be right with you, puppy. Okay, so I slip stitch through there. Tighten up the... <laughs> These dogs are bossing me around, y'all. Can you hear them? They're giving me the they're giving me the what for? Thor. You need to wait. You need to wait. So I crocheted over this, so I'm just gonna cut it off. And if you can see, oh my goodness, this eye is gonna go right up here next to this eye. And it'll look like this. Okay? And don't forget, I need to tighten this up. Oh, I can't tighten it because I cut it off. I was a little distract distracted because of my dog. Once this, is, once this is sewn on, it will look perfectly fine. So there, that's how you do it. I would sew this other eye on. And then don't forget to put a stitch of white somewhere on your eye. Put it, put it on both eyes. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment or email me at lovethisyarn at yahoo.com. Thor, please stop. Email me at lovethisyarn.com for any questions or leave a comment. Okay, guys, sorry, my dog is bossing me around, so I have to go. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Love you. Bye.